Today I'll be teaching you how to make low poly weapons for FPS games. So let's hop in with a raffle. Cool. So first off, let's quickly add in a reference image. So shift A and we go image reference and go find it. When it's in your seat, all I'm going to do is going to go control M and then press Y to flip it. So it's pointing to the left, which is kind of the way I want it to point. Um, and then make it slightly see through, just opacity, drag it to like 0.4, 0.3. Um, and then just drag it back on the x-axis so it's not like invading my space. Cool. So this can be broken down into a couple different shapes. Seems kind of complicated, but we can just break it down into each one of these simple shapes. So let's start with a simpler shape to make the stock. So let's go shift A, mesh cube. Um, and then again, I'm just going to go control R, add an edge loop, delete the left side, X vertices, and then go add a mirror modifier. And turn clipping on so it doesn't uh, pull away from the center. And yeah, let's get started. So it scales down and drag it back. Then just kind of line up the vertices with the shape. You could also use vertex snapping if you want to keep it completely straight on the horizontal, just G and then Y and hold control. Then maybe like one reference, uh, one uh, little edge loop just to pull it up slightly. Um, and I'm just going to go F, Z, and Z, uh, Z and zero. There we go. And then that's just going to be for this. And then we grab another edge loop. And then now we can take this edge. We'll just take the, all these in. There we just take this on in on the X axis. And then this can just slightly less. So it kind of rounds it out. And then you could even grab these two and drag it in slightly. Okay, and there we go. You've already made the first piece. Cool, so let's go on to the base. So to do that, I'm just gonna go uh, duplicate this and then just delete everything but the front piece, uh, just so we have our settings and then that round shape. So let me drag that back here, uh, extrude it across, and then we can just extrude out slightly, scale it up. What we're going to do with this is drag these out on the x axis so we get more of a square kind of shape with these vertices. Um, and then what I'm going to do is E and Y and just extrude it all the way across. So, what you will notice is we'll also have like an extra face over here. So, I'm just going to go X and vertices with that middle vertice, and now we shouldn't run into any problems. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I just need to add two edge loops here. This is going to be the one for the mag and this is going to be the one for the handle. All right. So select this, extrude it down, pull that in, extrude this down. You could do like this, just extrude out, scale up. Okay. And then select this, extrude down. And then we can use a tool called the shear tool. So if you press T, you can pull it up. And this will basically do it like this. Because if, if you rotate, you can see it kind of like goes smaller kind of. Uh, but if you do this, it will still stay like the, the proper like width. So just do that. Um, and then I'm going to go, if you want to add this little lip, just extrude, scale. You have to pull it out slightly on the x-axis. And then extrude down like that. Okay. And then just grab this face, shift and D to duplicate, P by selection to make it its own object. Go to object mode and then select it and go to edit mode. Then this, we're going to scale down. And then again, you can see it has like some bigger gaps here. So the GX, just pull it in. So it kind of has roughly the same thickness all the way around. Um, and then just extrude it down. You can also rotate it. Then add like one or two edges just to round it out. that and then if you want you can also select this and then pull it further up into the body of the gun and then I might want to make this slightly thinner just so that I have like some actual space um, for the mag okay and then pull this up and there and then just maybe center it slightly cool and then maybe it's make it slightly thinner uh, than we currently have Cool. Then we can duplicate this front piece or even just take this back piece again. So shift D, P, 
key bar selection and then that will give us another round piece over here and then just g bar land it up there then this can be taken just to extrude then let's scale up again just put it out slightly on the x-axis and then just extrude it along here for the barrel uh, and then f to fill just take this extrude it up drag drag that in or just drag back the top piece in like that um, select this front piece and then we need to make the, the other part of the barrel so just uh, r to insert b for boundary and then just there we have a barrel extrude it out and if you make that like the, the tiers or whatever just e or actually just use the r to insert it's better um and then just extrude it out again which i don't think really looks nice if you actually want to make it look nice usually it looks nice if you uh extrude and then scale up and then extrude it out that looks nice in my opinion probably not scientific yeah or accurate but it looks nicer so yeah And also I want to make the barrel slightly thinner. It doesn't feel very round. Just a tad. Just to Yeah, there, I'm happy with that. Um, you can see it's kind of unbalanced now, because the reason is because we don't have the rail in. But we can pull this up for that rail piece. Um and then duplicate P bar selection, and this is gonna be the piece like this and then extrude up and then we're going to go shift a mesh circle you can make this eight you can make this six up to you so i'm going to go rotate 90 on the x and then scale down it kind of matches roughly the size of the scope and then extrude this back and then we're going to add two edge loops, scale them slightly on the Y, so just S, Y, and then we can just select these two edges, so just Alt and Select, and Extrude, and Scale, Shift, Y. And there you go, that just creates our slight thickness. Um, and then I'm just going to scale these edges down, so S, 0, and then Merge by Distance, so M by Distance, and there you go. Um, or if you don't want to do that and you want to make it like go through, because usually you would like, um, was it, you would have some sort of like shade or something so you can see through it. You might also want to just like extrude it, scale, shift Y, and then just go E, Y, and snap it here, and by distance you can actually uh, see through the middle. Okay. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So let me just quickly go add in the trigger again. You can even just drag this piece down as well. Uh, and then trigger, just extrude, extrude, and extrude again. Um, and then you do again, just go front view, and then select the right side, S, X, and 0, select the left side, S, X, and 0, just select this barrel, select the main part, control J, to join them together, and then I'm just going to select these and fill in the gaps, um, and there we go. And if you have any problems in Unity, uh, then just go into edit mode, you can see here I have my face orientation. So then you shift in, and then if you select everything, shift in again, you can see now everything's blue, and it should work and fine. If you don't really understand the face orientation and how all that works, click over here to fix those normal pet things that just have see-through faces inside of Unity.